David, what was your mentality coming into the game with St. Louis off to a pretty sizable lead when you did enter the game midway through the first half? Um, just watching from the bench, seeing the uh, defensive schemes, they was uh, helping helping in a lot, and um, just reading the defense. That's that's the main thing, and just trying to push the ball, get the get the offense flowing. David, how much better are you? More comfortable, I guess. Are you feeling at this point now that you have some games under your belt? Um, I think it was more just uh, getting the concept of how this level is, other than JUCO. But uh, I feel like I'm feeling more comfortable and uh, really understanding how 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 it is at this level. Levi, was it bittersweet? I mean, playing against St. Louis, you have a career high tonight and play amazing and just come up short. Uh, obviously a tough loss, man, but uh, like I said, them, I know a lot of them guys I played with, played against a lot of them guys, so, you know, it gave me a lot of energy, man. I just wanted to play. What What did you feel like you were doing so well? You had a situation there where you got the alley-oop, you made the alley-oop, and then you hit a jump shot, and then you had the dunk. It really brought the crowd to life with about 7.30 to go in the game. Uh, you know, my teammates passed me when I was open. That's, that's about it. And I finished it. David, how tough were the last few possessions of that game? How, how would you describe just what happened to you guys there? Um, we just we we should have been more poised. Uh, the pass Mike gave to me, I was uh, casual and I lost it. So just can't be casual at the end of games. Levi, another one. Do you feel like this is a game that you could you could build on? You, you've had some twenty minute games here le recently. It seems like you're on the floor a lot more. Um, yeah, I feel like I can build off this game. You know, give me a little bit of confidence going forward. How I've been struggling really early in the season, so I feel like this game should help me a lot. Levi, this was a, another game where you guys um, are really close until the final minutes, and that's when it goes the other way. What do you guys need to do better in, in crunch time? Uh, execute and take care of the ball. You know, we had key turnovers at the end of the game. Yeah. Just not being poised. I think we got to work on our poise at the end of games. Yeah, David, quick comment on, on Stockard's performance tonight, what he was able to bring. Um, he brought a lot of energy. He was battling down there with um, with the bigs. They was uh, very huge. And then on offense, I was just telling him, uh, get out the ball screen fast, and I'm going to get it to you. And he did He did that, and he was scoring. David, uh, eight assists tonight. What were you seeing out there that allowed you to kind of make those plays? Uh, just like I said, the um, bench, starting off on the bench, just seeing it, how the defense was playing. They was helping a lot and just finding the right man at the right time. Coach, I think I think you got just 12 minutes from Mac and 15 from McCarty. Any idea kind of what the issue was with those two this evening for you guys? They didn't play very well. I mean, when they were in there, so you, you go with the guys that are playing better, and um, you know that's that's all it was. You know, they get, hopefully, uh, I we got to get. You know, I've said it over and over: consistency, dependability, efficiency, and and you know, again, we're um, it's Christmas, but it's Groundhog Day. Um, Bill Murray movie. Uh, I love that. You know, every time he'd replay today, he got he got to change something to help for the next thing. And and problem is in these games we can't rewind and we get losses. But you, you hope you learn from it, you make improvement, and sooner or later we'll um, we'll find a way. We shot better free throws. Uh, like the turnovers, um, you know, just too many. Uh, they they had them. We only had five at half, nine assists on ten field goals at half. We moved the ball, did good things. Uh, you know, we were pretty good, but when we try to go make plays on our own, we're, we're just not that talented yet to do that. Bruce, on uh, Xavier's shot at the end of the game, one, I mean, was that basically what you drew up in the huddle? And then two, I mean, could you ask for a much better look other than if no, he's been open? No, I was worried about foul. You know, I, we have a couple different plays, and one's a little longer, but you worry if they're going to be able to foul you. And I, I just, you know, quick hitter. Uh, actually, David ran and slipped at a dead corner. I, I think he, no one guarded him right away. They got, uh, that was the first look if, if they screwed up. But I don't know if Mike could see because of the defender. 
uh, was in his way. Um, and then, you know, we got a tight curl, and then Xavier's supposed to step back, and and now you, you know, we got a couple things off of it. But you know, David, you know, Xavier got a good look. I mean, you can't, you know, at the end of the game, you can't ask for something better than that. And then just as a follow up to that, were you at all worried that calling the timeout was going to give them a better chance to, to foul off the inbound? I just, I, I've been, we we've been through this Pittsburgh, and I, I gonna give us a chance, you know, help us with, and, and we got a good, good shot. So. With the two bench players you had stand out today, um, has your confidence grown in David over the past couple of days? And with with Levi, is he arguably the best forward, or at least playing the best of any forward? Well, he right did now? tonight, you know. And, and uh, I've been on both of them. We need them both. Uh, obviously, we need everybody. But you know, if they can take a step, that puts you know, uh, you know, one we not afraid to go to the bench. The bench, our bench gets thirty one. But again, we stop their good guys. You know, they're so their main guys, but the other guys hurt us again. And if you just go back all the games, we do a great job of game planning, stopping the uh, the main guys, our defenders, but then the other guys hurt us. And they're you know their guy, they get what nine, nine, twelve, and ten. Now they can say to us, "Leave, I got seventeen, and somebody else got." So, you know, but we we somehow we got to do a better job on the other guys. Um, you know, so in and some of that is because we have a lot of new guys in there. And, uh, you know, their habits, their understanding of what's going on, at, especially at the end of the game. Maybe a switch. We wouldn't have given up a layup, a couple things like that. But, you know, they, I'm, I'm happy for them. I'm happy they took a step. They, they care. They've worked at it. I've been on them. I told Le, uh, Levi I'm not going to let him just drift through his career. He's either got to, you know, step up. And, and I've been on him for a couple weeks now. And uh, it's happy he performed well, but obviously it's it's disappointing that uh, you know we couldn't find a way to win. Coach uh, David had uh, seven points and then uh, eight assists. Um, outside of those last two turnovers, just what you like best about his game tonight? Just that he made the right plays, a lot of the right plays. Uh, he's got he's still got to get better on defense, but you know he's we knew when we when we recruited him, he's a good passer, distributor. Uh, he sees the game. Um, you know, I wish he was more vocal. I wish he was a little tougher. But, um, you know, maybe that will come over the course of time. How difficult with uh, another close loss like this right now is it just to keep the team together and positive mentally right now? I mean, that's all you can – you know, that's my job. And, uh, you know, I, I just – sad to go home at Christmas and another loss. I, I you know, joke with you guys and Wyatt. It's Groundhog Day. Uh, but we got to – you know, we got to stay. The only thing, only choice we have is we got to stay together. Uh, I used a little quote this week uh, from Oprah Win Inf Winfrey. Uh, they probably listen to her more than they would me. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it, her quote was that you know I don't want people that want to go on the limo with me. I want people that want to go on the bus with me when the limo breaks down. And right now our limo has got a flat tire, and now we got to get on the bus. And we all got to, we have to stick together. And, you know, do the little, the dirty, the dirty work, the little things. There was a couple loose balls that, you know, we dive on it, makes a difference in the game, those type of things. Staying together, helping each other, talking, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, that that's important. And I told him, go home. You know, look at, you know, Coach Katie always said, look at your whole card. I don't know if anyone ever knows what that meant. But it, I guess it, look at yourself. Look inside and see what you're about. And, uh you know, come back and hopefully we can correct some things. And long season, a lot of games left. Uh, we got Tulsa. That's our next important thing. We're close. I mean, you just think about the games. Mississippi State played Villanova very, very well. We're, we're leading that game for, what, 30-some minutes. Uh, St. Louis played Auburn, who's undefeated very well. Uh, you know, we're right there tonight. Uh, so Marquette is good. Uh, but, yeah, again, it's Groundhog Day. we got to find a way to win. It's good. Obviously, a win tonight would have been nice, but uh, – you know, part of the process, I guess. It's it's a painful process, but we got to go through it, grow and learn, and hope um, we can take a step. I, I you know, credit to St. Louis. They played their – Travis done a nice job. Plays, they played their butts off. Um, you know, we really were worried about the rebounding. We limited – they had six offensive rebounds. Uh, and we turned them over. But, again, you know, they they made some plays. They You know, I, I love – Jordan Goodwin played to win. Even though we took them out of a lot of things, and and you know they celebrated in that hallway like 
they had won a national championship. And, you know, that's that's how much it meant to them. And they just had a little more, a little toughness, a little more, made some plays down the stretch. And credit to them. And, uh, you know, for us, you know, keep stay on the bus. Keep moving forward. See what we can do. Specifically with Cardi, did some frustration boil over with him late in the game? Uh, as far as? Uh, just his poise. Where do you feel like his poise? Uh, is you know, he's... He's done that before where he's uh, had some tough days, but we had other guys to put in. And and, and, that's, and now we're depending on him, so it, it's a little tougher. But, uh, you know, he's it's, it's, it's hard to be on the billboard. It's hard to be on the billboard, guys. And, and, they, and, you know, to be the focal guy, to be the number one guy on the scouting report, it's hard. And, they're, and they're, I think all those older guys are learning that. And uh, maybe it's a nice little break. Get away from they get away from us. We get away, and uh, you know Christmas is about hope, and uh, that's what I told them. That was my last message, and you know there's still hope there, and we will not give up on them. They can't give up on themselves. We got to help them. We got to help those young guys. You know they're they're the, they got because they they need help because this is they're suffering right now because they they care so much. And they need direction and leadership, and we got to help them with that. Thank you. Outside of Levi, the last two games, your big men are a combined four of 20 from the yeah, floor. Pretty what, bad, huh? What, what is the state of, of the big men on this team? And, I mean, it seems like Levi is maybe playing the best of all of them. Would there be opportunity for him to start? Oh, yeah. I don't think there's any doubt. Yeah, we, you know, we've, uh, you know, you got to get something out of them. You're patient. You give keep you know and I'm not saying he's going to he comes back and lays an egg next week we got four days of practice when they come back or three and a half whatever it is and so you know again get, who's going to be on the bus who is he going to be casual and la lazy or is he going to come to practice and, and come and dominate if he does that you know well that means he gets the opportunity to play thank you back I think he's he's got to stick with it and believe in us and believe in coaching and and uh, he's had some tough stretches. You can go back, look at the West Virginia game last year, at at home. There's been some tough games, and and he's you know sometimes you got to learn. It's it's you know learn from it, grow from it. I hope he wants to learn and grow and accept coaching. Uh, I I I think he's a good player. He's a talented player, but he's got to. Uh, He's got to be able to uh, play within with us, you know, and and help us win. When we, again, you know, we for halftime it's what nine assists, five turnovers. Second half, we only get four assists and we get thirteen turnovers. So, you know that, and you're still right there till we're leading, right under four, if I'm right. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought we were. So, uh, at least close to that, we had our chances. passes that Sloan tried to the alley oops Cardi and then the full court thing was that just trying to get highlights there or what yeah I, I told them after don't you don't have to hit home runs you got to execute and uh, David the play was I mean the lob's an option but we really wanted we were having so much luck in ball screens the play was for him to come off the ball screen to you know to uh, you know see what we got Xavier replacing Levi diving got uh, Cardi on the weak side after he goes through. So, uh, you know, I wanted the ball in David's hands to make a play because he had been making plays, but he obviously made the wrong one. And Cardi, I'm not sure what he did. I, I'm sure he saw something, but it was it's just too casual. Bruce, I just wanted to ask real quick about Monte and his first game back. I mean, he was second on the plus minus for you guys. How did you think that he prepared? He was fine. You know, he, he, he's he got to get some confidence. Uh, you know, he, it, it's just he missed a lot. And he came back very cautious, and but I think this was good for him to get a game in, and now, you know, then come back next week, and it's right back at it. But we need him, uh, Antonio. You know, he missed some shots early, and uh, you know, he but he to his credit, he made his free throws. Uh, he didn't back down, and uh, you know, he's got he's got to get better. They all got to get better. We we got to get better as coaches, and they have to get better as players. It's the only way you can improve. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays.